I love this term. Spiritual and emotional GPS is crucial in life's later stages mm -hmm. because we're always recalculating. Yeah, and we need that guidance system. And hopefully this is going to give people, it's going to stretch their thinking to read the book because there's places where you stop, you write things down, and it's so critical that you write them down and do it longhand because that has a better effect on your brain. It drains energy. It brings the brain back together. So you're using both the left and the right side. And so you look at what you've written and say, you know, I hadn't thought of this. This is why I'm encouraging people to, to do a, a history of their transitions in the past and what are the transitions coming up. I just want to open to a page mm -hmm. and show uh, you at home that um, our therapist takes us on a journey. See that on the right there? It's all blank. There are numbers there and there are things you have to respond to. It's, you're really a life coach with this book. Well, it yeah. is a life coach. And what we're suggesting is that small groups get a hold of the book and use it together. Husbands Questions and wives, especially, read it together and plan together because you're going to make what I call discoveries. Mm. You're going to make discoveries in there. And the latter chapters are really important because uh, when it talks about our final chapter of our life, that is our home going with the Lord. Yes. And that is, that is something that's critical. There's one chapter in there though that's going to, people are going to be uh, kind of surprised about. It's called the reflective life because we need to take time to reflect because when we reflect, that moves us into the arena of what's sacred in our life. For some people, it's golf. For some people, it's other activities. But what is really, really sacred and what's really important is that relationships are so critical. We're to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our mind, but love our neighbor as ourself. You know, Norm, for those with regrets, the idea of a chapter of reflecting, of taking time to think about mm -hmm. the life they've lived is not a welcoming prospect. No, but, but you walk us through with, you really come alongside and ask mm -hmm. those questions that are gonna help take us there. into a new place. And if you have regrets in your life, this is the time to sit down and write out, what are those regrets? And give them to the Lord because there can be healing at any age of some of those memories. There are a lot of people who go through life dominated by the past hurts, by the past abuse, but there is freedom from that. And this could be a beginning and then moving more toward other resources that deal with those memories as well. Well, boy, I, I wish we had more time. Uh, one of the translations of Psalm 139 says, all the stages Mm. of my life were planned before yes. I was born. I love that. It meant a lot during menopause. And um, maybe it'll mean a lot to you in a stage that isn't as wonderful as you would choose. Uh, but where is God in the transitions of our life, Norm? He is there. He's right there. He's there. Well, you can take the journey of the rest of your life with a trusted counselor and this book is available at our e-store. There's the information. You can go online and order your book or call us at 1-800-265-3100. Whatever is next for you, here's help to navigate those transitions to make the rest of your life count. God bless you, Norm, and thank you thank for you. all that you bring to us. Thank you for the privilege of being here. We'll be back.